What's going on, my ass bad party people? Does this look familiar? I'm telling you, questions like this, I love to see. Because not only does it give a lot of students issues, but it gives issues for the wrong reasons. A lot of the times, questions that seem ridiculously difficult on the ASVAB are actually truly just one small idea away from being able to get it right every single time. And so I'm gonna show you exactly what to do here. But just as a reminder, I do host free weekly classes for the ASVAB every single week, once a week, two hours. I do have a full program as well, but if you haven't heard of my free classes or my free practice test with video solutions, go ahead and give that thing a try. I promise you, you're gonna learn from your mistakes and you're gonna watch me with video solutions teach you every step of the way. And on top of that, again, you get access to a free weekly class live on Zoom, two hours apiece. So go ahead and click the link in the description of this video, that way you can register for it. And if you have already, then the next step naturally is gonna be the program where I give you all the support you need to pass. And if you wanna learn more about that, we're not gonna waste much time here. Text me if you wanna learn more about it or click the link in the description of this video for the full program. Watch the video on how it's gonna help you raise your score and then make a decision from there. Well, let's go ahead and get started here. This one is a good one. It's a really, really good one. This is how we're gonna tackle this. First things first, read the question. The question is, what is the area of the rectangle in square feet? Sounds good. So the first thing I read was area of rectangle. I need to be firing off in my head, okay, what could I possibly need here? Well, if I'm thinking about the area of a rectangle, it's very possible, very possible that I'll need the formula, which is the length times the width, right? Naturally, our minds should go in that direction. But first, we also need to recognize and notice that it says square feet. Okay, why is that important? Well, because this says square feet, this says square yards, and we're already given the area as eight square yards. So we already have the area. We already have the area, so we actually don't even need the formula. We already have the area. The area that we're given is eight square yards, and we need eight, or not eight, but we need the formula or the area here in square feet. We need square feet not square yards. How do we do this? Well, one way you can think about this is the following way. You know that one yard is equal to three feet. So you should know that conversion. So let me go ahead and write here, write this as a conversion. Remember that one yard equals three feet, right? One yard is equal to three feet. And so a lot of us may be thinking, okay, cool. Just go ahead and multiply by three. And we got 24 square yards or yeah, 24 square feet. Sounds good. We're done. Yeah, answers B. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. No. That's not what we gotta do. That's not it. So here's the problem. This right here is how to turn yards to feet, not square yards to square feet. That's not it. That's not it. So if you wanna learn how to do that, watch and learn. It's actually very sincere, very straightforward. So there's two ways to think about this. So one way is the shortcut method that will be quicker, but you might not understand how it works. And the other way is gonna be the way that it actually works. So here's the quick way. Number one, the quick way is like this. If we have one yard equals three feet, but we wanna turn square yards into square feet, what we can do naturally, well, if we wanna get square units, let's square the units. And remember, with an equation, you have to make sure you do the same thing to both sides. So one squared is going to be one, and that turns into square yards, because yards times yards, square yards. Now on the other side, three squared, everybody three squared, if you check it out right here, that's three times three, which is nine. Again, one squared is one times one, which is one. Three times three here, that's nine. So that's gonna be nine feet times feet. There you go. So we see that one square yard is nine square feet. And so with that, we should not be multiplying by three, we should be multiplying by three squared, which is nine. So we can multiply by, again, three squared to mention the square units, or you can just multiply by nine. Again, three squared is nine, and you get 72 square feet. That's how you can get D. But again, that's the quick way. I'm sure that some of us here watching this video are like, that didn't make too much sense. Here's the other way to do it. Here's the other way. Let's visualize here, because I, I like visualizing. Visualizing is a great tool for us. Let's go ahead and visualize here. 
So here's a rectangle. Look at how perfect this rectangle is. I drew it myself. I'm gonna hang that on the refrigerator later. But let's go ahead and say that, you know, we're, we're looking at a, a rectangle here that's, let's go ahead and say, you know, one yard by eight yards, just to mimic this problem here. So if you find the area, you're gonna have one times eight, which is eight yards times yards, yards squared. Right, cool, sounds great. But watch this. If you were to only multiply by three, right? If you only did times three to get 24 square feet and you're like, yeah, that's the answer. Here's why that's wrong. If you do that, what that shows is that you're only multiplying one of the sides, one of the sides by three. You're only converting one of the sides. You're not actually converting both sides. If you want to convert the whole area, you got to convert both of the sides. Notice how it says yards squared to the second power. That means that there's two dimensions that you have to convert or two you know, sizes or two distances that you have to convert. And so that's why you have to multiply this by three as well to get the 24 feet. That says feet squared, erase that right there. 24 feet, three feet. And then when you multiply both of those together, you're gonna get the feet times the feet to get feet squared. Again, this is about understanding the difference between converting a distance unit conversion, converting an area, converting volume, converting surface area, because you know how volume is cubic? A cubic feet, cubic yards, cubic inches. That means you're gonna multiply by the cube of the conversion. If you're converting areas, multiply by the square of the conversion. And if you're converting a regular distance, convert regularly as seen. And so I really wanted to show you this. I'm really excited to show you this because, you know, the thing is, it's a concept that's very, very, very uh, graspable. It's, you know, it's easy to grasp if you understand the basis of what a unit conversion is. And also, if you know the difference between perimeter, area, and volume. But at the end of the day, my party people, I'm glad to have shown you this. And again, Remember to check the link in the description of this video because that is where you will find the links to the free practice test and the link to the full program where you can raise your score with me. Make sure to comment on this video, let me know what your favorite part was, whether the first way I showed was great or the second way. That way we know what works and we can keep getting better for you. With that said, my party people, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you in the next class. Cheers.